Hey, 30 years ago, the thought of robots performing surgery sounds kind of, looks kind of like something out of a sci-fi movie. But now it's a revolutionary reality going on right here in our area. Dr. Rochelle Lanciano is here with more on what is known as CyberKnife. Rochelle, great to see you. Hi, Bill. Nice to meet you. What is CyberKnife? CyberKnife is a form of radiosurgery, and radiosurgery is a way we deliver radiation that's very specialized, where we give high doses of radiation to ablate the tumor in usually one to five fractions, and it requires special equipment. And so CyberKnife is one of the pieces of equipment that we have now that we can use to give radiosurgery. Has radiosurgery been around for a while? It's been around for years and years, and CyberKnife was started by a neurosurgeon because initially we were using radiosurgery for tumors in the brain. And he developed a system that is frameless so that the patients don't have to have rigid immobilization for treatment. And it expanded from the brain to now we can use CyberKnife for all parts of the body. So it's a much more comfortable experience now. Absolutely, absolutely. And and even though knife is in the title, there are no cuts being made, right? No, there's no cuts being made. Patients are relaxed, laying on a table, get their treatments, take about a half an hour to an hour, and um, there isn't the types of immobilization that we used to use in the past. And the knife in the, the title actually refers to how how very specific an area this treats. Isn't that right, correct? Exactly. We treat usually small tumors less than four centimeters in size and the cyber knife is actually a robot that has a miniature linear accelerator on the end of the robot that makes the radiation and this robot can come in various positions multiple degrees of freedom and so it's really a superior piece of equipment. We could treat with 200 beams all targeted at that tumor and so the normal tissue surrounding the tumor get a lot less dose than in the past when we couldn't have when we didn't have this technology. It sounds like you came out of a, a sci-fi convention 30 years ago. I mean, the terms you're using, they almost sound unreal, but it's a reality and making a huge difference to some cancer patients today. It really is. I mean, we're, we have the busiest cyber knife in the area. We've treated over 500 to six, we're about up to 600 patients now in the last two years. And because of that, we're able to offer new things for our patients that we didn't before have available to us. Now we can treat lung tumors and as the tumor is moving the robot actually moves with the tumor. So if you have that kind of accuracy then you don't have to treat as much normal tissue around the lung tumor. And so our treatments are getting so specific and so accurate that we're now competitive with surgery. And there's randomized trials that are being done right now comparing radio surgery with the cyber knife to surgery and actually cutting out the tumor. So with the cyber knife you might be able to avoid surgery altogether or does we, that is that very common? Yeah, we hope to. I mean right now we treat a lot of tumors that patients can't have surgery because they're old or frail or they have bad lung function, say for instance in lung cancer. But we hope that in the future this will, you know, replace surgery in some areas. What's your title again? I'm chief of the radiation oncology department at Delaware County Memorial Hospital and the CyberKnife Center. It's called Philadelphia CyberKnife. And how excited are you about this product? I'm very excited. I mean, I've been a radiation oncologist since 1988. And when this new product became available to us, it was the first new thing that I really have had to change the quality of my care for patients. So I'm very excited about it. And is there any limit to its possibilities? I mean, is it is it better at some cancer tumors than, than others? It's very good for tumors that are small and less than four centimeters in size. So we treat tumors in the lung, we treat pancreas tumors, metastatic lesions that are in bone or to the liver. As a matter of fact, I recently presented our experience for liver tumors and it, it really looks fabulous for that. And in, and in the past, people would have to have parts of their liver removed, which is a really big surgical procedure. So if we can show that this is equivalent, this will be another thing patients will have available to them. We're now starting to study prostate cancer, which it would be fabulous if you can give five treatments with radiosurgery with the CyberKnife compared to 42 to 44 treatments with the conventional radiation. So we're, we're very active in research and we're actually studying these, these treatments to make sure that they're equivalent or better than the, the current treatments that we have. And where is this available? It's available at the Philadelphia CyberKnife Center, which is in Havertown. And, um, you know, they can log on to www.phillycyberknife.com and get more information about this technology. Well, we'll certainly have a link on our website as oh, well. Oh, thank you. Rochelle, thank you. thank you so much for being here. Thank Great you for information me. about CyberKnife. Thank you. Hey, still to come on the 10 show, it's Philly's own R&B sensation, Jaguar Rice. We'll be right back.